Rejuvenation Med Spa, Charlotte's Fountain of Youth. Located in Cotswold, we are a luxurious one-stop med spa providing services with one goal in mind. We want you to look and feel your very best. We provide services such as microneedling, hydra and laser facials, laser hair, scar and vein removal, and regenerative therapies such as hair restoration. Give yourself the gift of looking and feeling your best. Circadian Rejuvenation Med Spa. You fuck! I saw, I'm trying to get home because I wanted to look at my fucking book right. the last time I, you know, my records, right? So that's I was your, fucking that's your fucking like There's no man. book from sixth, sixth grade. That sixth grade book that you never as of As of today, um, what I want is some of the topics, because I know that you don't have much time to, um, you know, um, left today. One of the things in, what, in which I wanted to talk about is the latest trending news is um, them sending uh, Sadiq saying that he's been an all-time natty. I mean, this is a guy. This is a guy that's a you know that's physique is freaking phenomenal, and he's just been going around now lately in YouTube, you know, saying saying that he, you know like throughout his entire life he's been he's been a natural. I mean, what is your thoughts about this this whole natty craze, man? My, my thought on it, bro, is is I don't give a shit. I, I really don't. I mean, if 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 you for whatever reason find the need to highlight the fact that you never did drugs. That, 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 that's a deep-rooted issue that you have in your brain. That, <laughs> that, that, you know, you, that, that's not my, none of my business, you know? I mean, that's, that's, their, that's their thing. Um, is it possible that some of these guys are natural? Sure it is. It's absolutely possible they're an outlier. Um, you know, there's people that are, you know, gifted genetically that are so gifted that we can't we can't accept it and we won't believe that they're natural or um you know they got some kind of religious stigma family stigma cultural stigma that they can't go there and who am i who am i to fuck with that if you want if if you want to say you're natural dude that's your deal I, I, whether i buy it or not is totally irrelevant it's it's irrelevant um uh, you, you just do the best you can and take what you can get. I, I, I don't, you know, there's guys that want to say they're, they're natural. There's guys that say they don't eat meat. There's guys that say they, <laughs> they, they take protein powder or, you know, what, whatever. Whatever their shtick is, I don't give a shit. I just don't give a shit. I've been at this too fucking long to care. So it's, it's like if that's what you want to do, you want to promote the fact that you're natural – and you want to put that out there, and that's your belief, and you want to stake your reputation on that. By all means, do it. It's a free country. You go do that. If, if if I'm not I'm not going to set out on a campaign to bust you or prove you're wrong or anything. I just don't give a shit. Yeah. I see, I mean, I mean, I I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, for me, it's just more so of a standpoint where, you know, coming from the industry, having sold performance enhancement drugs and stuff like that, it's like I look at it from the standpoint where. You know, these guys are making millions upon millions upon millions, misleading followers, misleading people. I mean, this goes back to like the fucking Hulk Hogan days. Remember when he would say, "Is like, oh, take your vitamins and and you'll get 20. Well, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, but you got, that, that's a completely different, that's a completely different issue. When you're, when you're a WWE wrestler and you have a personality, your appeal is mostly 80% to kids. You know, it's it's like you, you gotta you gotta you gotta toe that line, and you know that, it, there's a lot of facets. <laughs> sorry, man. I that's sorry. That's sorry. Um, you know, there's a lot of facets to that. It's not just A or B, drugs or no drugs. It's image. It's contracts. It's endorsements. It's kids. It's public image. It's public image not only for you but for the federation. Not only for you and the federation, but for the sport. So th th there's so much involved in that 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 and, and there's there's there, there's no way there's no way on earth anybody's going to say be able to say whether or not Sadiq used drugs or Hulk Hogan or Mike Orton or anybody else that's on the that's in that you know comp uh, universe of people that nobody believes okay. and. And like, like I said, there's so much around that. It's a personal indictment for their own. <coughs> Sorry, man. That's right. That's right. For their own beliefs. 
That's all on that's all on them. I, like I said, I don't give a shit. If 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 that's what you want to do, power to you, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I, I I agree. I mean, for me, it was the reason why I asked that question is because for me, it's more like, you know, having a son that's you know that's seven years old, you know, that's, you know that's involved in sports. He's in you know he's into soccer now. Now that I, you know now that I'm around, he's talking about martial arts and all that other stuff and. I mean, I'm from the old school days where, you know, at the age of 13, I started experimenting with anabolics just because of the standpoint where I was in martial arts, I was competing, I was getting my ass whooped, but I was training just as hard. And I'm trying to figure out, I was like, why the fuck are these people, you know, that are training just as hard as me, or, you know, have like this considerable amount of stamina at the young age. And my Shihan at that time was like, oh yeah, they're taking vitamins. So I'm looking at it from the standpoint, I was like, well, fuck, well, give me those fucking vitamins. <laughs> So, I'm, <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden, day to 13, I'm taking the Anabol, Anadrol, <laughs> and fucking Anavar, and it's like, like, you know, fast forward now, it's like, I realize that it's still a pandemic in the sport. So, I, you know, be, me being a father, I look at it from the standpoint where I was like, look, I'm going to eventually, eventually have that conversation with Max, where Max is going to be like, hey, daddy, I want to, I want to have a career in sports or maybe in soccer or whatever, but... No matter, I, I guess no matter how hard I try, I can never seem to get past these particular individuals. And a person like you and I that have been in the industry for an obscene amount of years, we'll start looking at those kids and be like, that motherfucker's on the juice. <laughs> that motherfucker's on some you, shit. You, 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 know, you know what? Honestly, I, I, I really, this is the God's honest truth. I never make that distinction. I never comment on that. I never, repeat, you go, go back. 30 years to look at all everything I've said in interviews and articles, whatever. I have never, ever, ever, ever approached, broached the topic of whether or not somebody's doing drugs. I've been asked a million times, is this person, you think, was this person juiced? Like, like just like you did. What's the, it, it's had to have happened a million times. And every time my answer is the same. I don't give, give a, a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Not one little one. I really don't. Nah, and I, and I think that's a good approach. I mean, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I appreciate you a lot and I appreciate Dave because, you know, when I came out, man, it's like, you know, when I came out of, out of ser after serving five years, it's like I still had that bitterment. I still had that resentment towards people when in actuality, it's like, you know, it's like caring about shit that you shouldn't be caring about, you know, and, and having like this whole negative energy on just nonsense you know it's like who gives a shit just move the fuck on who gives a fuck if a person is natural if it's not affecting your pockets by all means it's like just let them fucking rock out let them do it that way let, you know and, and some of them some of these guys honestly need a point of difference they need a you know they need they need their thing their shtick i call it you know it's it's if 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 your shtick is going to be uh, i'm mr olympia and i'm natural and i'm going to promote that fact Ultimately, there's no downside to it. I mean, there's, you know, except people are going to think you're a liar. But honestly, whether or not they think you're a liar is their opinion. There's no proof that you take drugs. There's no proof that you don't take drugs. There's no, there's no nothing. There's what you're putting out there personally, you know, in, in your own sphere. And that's what you want people to buy and accept and, and, and follow you for. And then that's it. I mean, you're not going to grab everybody, but... Um, if, if, if that's if that is the way you think you have to present yourself and market yourself and promote yourself then that, that's like I say that's your deal bro go for it yeah oh, I and agree more, more <laughs> to stand in your way yeah now one of the things in which I wanted to talk about because it's still a, it's still a trending topic and all that stuff and we spoke about it you know in, in RX is this whole situation with like all these bodybuilders dying. I mean, even over the span of five years that I've been down, including the time in which I've been out, it's been practically a bodybuilder a month. A bodybuilder a month. I mean, from... from yes. Okay. Is it right there? Okay. That's my feature article in Muscle Sport Magazine. Why is everybody dying? You know, so, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a topic. Um, you know, in 2021, we lost 32 bodybuilders worldwide. If you weed out the suicides and the, you know, illnesses, accidents, murders, whatever, you're left with a little over half who, who died. 
And of that half who died, uh, I'm sorry, a little over half who have died from cardiac events. So why is there all of a sudden this spike in cardiac events? What happened in 2021 that didn't happen in 2020 or 2019 or 2018, 17, 16, 15, 14, all the way down to 1900? What's different? So are the drugs different? No, the drugs are the fucking same. Maybe there's, you know, a peptide here or there and it's different or a war or, or a... Uh, a SARM whatever. or whatever. SARM or, you know, the other experimental shit. But for the most part, no one's doing that shit. For the most part, people are doing the usual drugs. And why are they... Do- and, and people who are, you know, John Meadows is a great example. He's one of the most knowledgeable guys on the face of the earth about this stuff. Still died of a heart attack. Okay, so something's up. What is different? What was different in 2021 that was not there in every other year possible? Are we supposed to believe that a new drug protocol hit the streets in 2020, in 2021 at exactly the same time and it killed everybody? No, that's not what happened. What happened was fucking COVID hit. They ran rampant, forget this fucking vaccine out. <clears throat> <clears throat> it wasn't ready, it wasn't tested, it wasn't researched, it wasn't approved, and guess what? People are dying from cardiac events. There's reasons why, and if we had a lot of time, we could get into it, but there's a definite stipulation in the facts that many of these cardiac events could have been, and I say could have been, not definitely were, but could have been the fault of the vaccine. <clears throat> or COVID itself. Do we know if any of these people who got, who died in 2021 were vaccinated? There's a strong chance a lot of them were because they're competitors. They had to get vaccinated and travel. They had to get vaccinated to go to certain cities. They had to get vaccinated and go and get into certain events. So they were pretty much forced <clears throat> to get this vaccine before it was studied before it was ready, before it was approved. And, and, and this is a potential cause of why we had all these people dying. Nobody wants to look at it. Nobody. And Nobody. It, you know, a lot of people, like, you know I mean, a lot of people sometimes blame. I mean, I, I, I come at it from a different perspective. I come at it from a standpoint where having been in the industry and, 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 being, and being a coach, and, and providing protocols for some of these athletes. Um, and it being a small world, and seeing the kind of protocols that were given to some other athletes, you know, it's like, I, I came at it from a different perspective saying, it's like, hey, can it be the prolonged usage of excessive, you know, of excessive use? That eventually, that eventually led to, you know, to, you know, to their demise. Because some of the people, especially the younger ones that passed away, like the Dallas McCarvers of the world and the Cedric McMillans, um, I had, you know, like inside knowledge of what they were taking, at least at the time in which, at least at the time in which I was in existence. And I would look at their protocols in comparison to like what I was giving Kevin, maybe like, you know, on his, on his way route to back to like the Olympia or even some of the younger athletes that I was working with. And I'm like, shit, this dude is taking like six times, I mean, you know, six times the fucking dope. Yeah, but Richard, they've been taking six times that since the nineties. There's nothing. There's nothing different. There's okay. nothing different. Nothing. Zero. Nothing different okay. from our perspective. It's the same drugs. It's more or less the same quantities. It's the same durations. It's the same style of training, dieting. It, everything's the same. Nothing is different. Nothing. With the exception if, of COVID. If, if, except for COVID. That's the only difference in all of this is COVID. I mean, it's a valid point. I mean, if a person thoroughly dissects the, um, you know, COVID in, in, in general, especially the medications, I mean, the process has been accelerated, um, you know, and not really thoroughly vetted. Clinical trials, slim to none. I none, mean, zero. Yeah, none. It's, yeah. The way that it went, it came about into the industry, I'm like, shit. I wish anabolics can be can be can be brought into the market that fucking fast. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten eight years, and we all would have been fucking filthy rich. If something like that. Richard, the thing is, anabolics have been around for a hundred years. 
Yeah. You know, 100 years ago, Diana Ball came out in Germany. So, you know, we're not talking anything new here. We're just not, none of it's new. Back in the 90s, I worked with some guys. I, I, you know, I was good friends with Nasser. I know for a fact he was taking up to six grams a week. Back in the 90s, all right? People hear six grams today, they go, holy shit, you know? There, it's, it, it's, it, it, nothing is different, nothing. The only thing that's different is COVID. Got it, got it. Now, I mean, to wrap the, you know, to wrap things up and stuff like that, since I know you don't have much time, um, one of the things that I've been seeing um, now lately, at least um, since I've been, you know, since I've been out, is how loosely um, individuals use um, the HRT TRT terminology. Um, I, and I think it all piggybacks to the whole thing about you not giving a shit about whether or not the person is a fake natty or so. Uh, Cause you see a person, you see a person that's like was like a fat, morbidly obese individual, and he's like, "This no, 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 I'm on TRT and all that other stuff." And it's like, and you see this dude like do a fucking rapid transformation <laughs> within over a span of like a month, and you're like, "Shit, he's probably he probably was on a on a, on a clan, maybe some T3, maybe some trend, maybe it's like." And you start looking at it, and you're like, "Holy fuck!" And and it's and. I, I don't want to ask you the question because you're probably going to respond the same thing as you said about the whole fake natty thing, saying that you just don't give a fuck. But <laughs> so you kind of probably already indirectly answered my question. But I mean, what are your thoughts with respects to these individuals using that terminology loosely, knowing what the industry is? specifically from a growth perspective. I mean, the HR aging, <coughs> hormone replacement and testosterone therapy market is growing, like, I mean, substantially from the time in which I was in the, involved in it in 2013 to what it is now, it's freaking tenfold. And now you got bodybuilders that are still active, like, you know, like saying, it's like, oh, no, 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 it's like, I'm competing, but I'm only on HRT, TRT. I, 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 you know, Everybody's got. Everybody's got to have their their thing. Get getting, train working out, training, dieting, doing drugs, all kind of leading towards a specific end goal. The end goal, to be big and ripped, is extremely difficult to pull off. So. You know, some people just need their crutch, you know, and if that's going to be TRT or if that's going to be lying about being natural, whatever, whatever that's going to be, that's, that's somebody's, that's somebody's, you know, crutch, that's somebody's method. Yeah, overt benefit per se, because they, like they've said in business, if you're not unique, you better be cheap. I mean, so, something, you know, I mean, they got, they got to, they, they, they need something, you know. Yeah, something. So, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm, uh. You know, to throw that term around loosely, it, it, it depends on the purpose. If you are a legit athlete and you're trying to compete in a drug-tested sport and you're 50 years old and you've got a legitimate, you know, blood work verifiable, you know, uh, deficiency, then I think that's something that, that – <coughs> should be talked about certainly not loosely that's a legit that's a legit cause you know okay. um to try to hide your um performance or your your gains behind the veil of trt that's another story that, that's a lot of bullshit okay so it, it, like i said it depends on the person it depends on the story it depends on what they're trying to do um i don't think any terms like that should be thrown around loosely because they do have consequences and unfortunately most of the people tossing it around don't even are not even cognizant of what those con consequences are and you know they'll end up digging themselves a hole and that's that's on them yeah i mean i i've seen that i've seen that a lot i mean <laughs> over the span of the time in which i've been down it's like i've st I've, ha I've had access to to um to cell phones and i was seeing people like after like wfn went down you know it's like putting on you know it's like putting on trench coat you know like you know like lab coats 
and promoting themselves like, <laughs> hey, yeah, man, it's like I do TRT uh, cons consultations and all that stuff for this clinic in which, by the way, I'm a partner in and I'm, look I'm looking at this shit, you know, and, I and I'm fucking MDC Brooklyn or somewhere and I'm like, holy fuck, this motherfucker is doing the same exact shit that, by the way, got me 90 fucking months. And he's like, and he's like doing it freely till this day. Yep. People are still doing it freely, and it's like, and, and, and on top of it, he's he's like saying, it's like, oh, I'm actively competing, but I'm also doing uh, only HRT, TRT doses. I'm like, come on, man. If it smells like shit, looks like shit, it most likely is shit. So it's like, don't be surprised if you be another Richard Rodriguez, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> two years down the road, right, right. <laughs> and you tell right. the judge, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> And it's and that's the reason why you pointed something out like you know really well because um, you know it's like people don't really understand sometimes specifically in, with hormones and anabolics the potential consequences. You see, um, I unfortunately learned it the hard way. You know, I just you know I just thank that I just thank God that um, I didn't get a life sentence. <laughs> you know, and um, I'm still I'm still out, and my son being eight years old for not and it's still at that young age. And that I was still able to salvage some really good friendships like you, you know, Dave and a couple of others that helped me, you know, thank God, dude. It's like, I've only been down June 7th is when I got out and now it's July 6th and dude, I already got an HRT, TRT partnership. I got my supplement line that I trademarked that I should start selling in, in two to three weeks from now. And, yeah. and it, it, it's going, you know, it's going great, man. And I want to thank you for, um, you know, for your time, dude. And whatever, man, if it's writing and I give you an offer you can't refuse to write for me um, or being a partner with you on, on your next venture, you know, uh, as an advertiser, it's like um, I, I look forward to it, man, because I really appreciate I really appreciate what you what you've done for me, you know, um, and, and what you've done for the industry, dude, you know, throughout the time that you've been um, and, you know, st still alive and kicking and going on strong, man. Cool. Thank you, brother. All right, man. So thank you so right. much for your time, dude. And what I'll do is uh, I'll hit you up. Uh, I'll hit you up later on in the week. Okay. All man. right. Thanks, man. Right. Take care, bro. Yep. Bye. Bye. Of you, Circadian Rejuvenation Med Spa is Charlotte's luxurious one-stop med spa. We offer microneedling, hydra and laser facials, laser hair, scar, and vein removal, cryo skin treatments, medical weight loss solutions, and much more. Visit us online today at circadianrejuvenation.com and give yourself the gift of looking and feeling your best. Book your free consultation today at Circadian Rejuvenation Med Spa. It's not just a service, it's an experience. Yeah! <laughs>